With newer security updates, Microsoft will not let you run a database application or spreadsheet tool that you have downloaded from the internet. This is generally a good thing, but when you need to use a tool you retrieve from a trusted source, such as the United States Geological Survey Publications Warehouse or Science Based Repository, then you need to figure out how to make it work. When you download an application or load it from a disk or thumb drive, you will get the dreaded security risk error message that will block code in the database application or spreadsheet tool. To address the problem, you need to run the application from a trusted location. This video is designed to show you how to designate a folder as a trusted location. It's easy to do, but not intuitive. First, click the File tab button. When the File menu appears, select the Options item. The Access Options window will open. Click on the Trust Center item. Click the Trust Center Settings button. The Trust Center window opens. Select the Trusted Locations item. Click the Add New Location button. The Microsoft Office Trusted Location window opens. Click the Browse button. The Browse window opens. Double click the C Drive icon to navigate to the file location. Double click the folder you want to make trusted. In this example, the folder name is C colon slash 000 make me trusted. Now click the OK button. Select the subfolders of this location are also trusted checkbox. Click the OK button. Again, click the OK button. Click the OK button on the Access Options screen. The Stochastic Empirical Loading and Dilution Model version 1.1.1 window opens. Click the OK button. Select the Database Tools tab. Click the Compact and Repair Database button. Click the Close button. Click the folder you are using from the taskbar. On my computer, I moved it to the right edge. Most people have it on the bottom of the screen. Or you can navigate to the desired folder using your favorite method. Once the folder with the application opens, double click the database application you are using. In this case, seldom version 1.1.1.accdb. The database window will open. In this case, it is the Stochastic Empirical Loading and Dilution Model version 1.1.1. Now the warning is gone and you can use the application. For seldom, click the Proceed button to continue. In summary, if you get the security risk error, then make sure you have an application from a reliable source and run the file from a trusted location. Hopefully this video has helped.